Welcome to the Jerry Graves channel. This channel tells us about narcissism and how to bring about justice. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into the topic. But first, if you're new to this video, make sure you subscribe. And without further ado, let's jump into it. It's dealing with narcissists is consistency, which is actually kind of hard to do because there's so many things that happen during the day that make you inconsistent with your approach to dealing with narcissists. It's like you got to find the thing that works for you and never deviate from it. Oftentimes we look at big ideas and big concepts for how to deal with narcissists, but it's the small things that once you do put your plan in motion, that makes people come back at you and eventually overcome you. The small things like a look that breathes new life into a narcissist or a, a moment of time where you're a little bit closer to them than you need to be. Most of the time when we break our strategy with the narcissist or any toxic person, it's because other toxic people have gotten involved. And whenever you're in a toxic working environment, that's going to happen. If it's there's toxic people that can thrive there, it's eventually going to be other people that are going to come and go and, and kind of be toxic. So you got to learn how to stick to your strategy with each person and never deviate. People always change like you, you don't really care about this over here and you breathe new life into the, the old narcissist. You know what I mean? One of the worst strategies or I would say tactical hell that you have to deal with is the fact that people can attack you in an in indirect way, like steering work away from you or something like that. Something very indirect. And that can that right there, like little attacks like that is the reason why people break their their strategy. It's just like it's so indirect and almost ambient that you, you, you're you thinking about and confused about that. And then next thing you know, you're not really upholding all the other stuff that you already know you need to do, you know. So you got to focus on always just no matter what. Whatever works, you, you constantly do it and even write it down, write it down. And uh, if if you find yourself breaking your habits or breaking the things that work for you and you're like, why did, why did I do that? Go back and write it down again. You know, same thing with uh, the ambient abuse, like write down what works and what doesn't work as far as dealing with that. And eventually the things that are bothering you and making you confused so that you do break it, you understand them deeper and deeper to the point where even those things don't work. And then those people are just standing there, you know, just kind of looking at you and wondering why it's not working, you know, and there you have it. You've, you've beaten them. You know what I mean? And, uh, it's, that's how it ends up working. If you can deal with the ambient abuse you can deal with it with the indirect attacks as well, then you can really take down their whole like shindig. <laughs> you dig? Peace.